what is up guys this is jack from zhx minecrafters this is a uh, quite a late night one because i was a dope and forgot to export from screenflow but uh yeah this is how to install a bucket so or make a bucket server for 1.2.5 if you don't know today they released a recommended build and i'm going to teach you how to make a server with it so go to your browser and type in dl.bucket.org it will navigate you to this here page you just want to click on this massive green button here and your download file should pop up in a minute but i'm going to stop it because i've already got it and you should get craft bucket 1.2.5 now uh what you want to do is go to your desktop make a new folder and just name it like server and then double click it and drag your bucket file into it like so now go back to your browser and just google bucket forums and you should get uh on the set well no you just want to type in bucket but um the second one down if you typed in bucket forums it'll take you to bucket.org so just if you want to do it just delete dl dot and just go to bucket.org but you want to go to get craft bucket but you've probably just gone um you've already got it but here's the thing um it is um we're gonna need a line of code from it so if you didn't see what i just did there on the main page setting up a server click on mac os x and you should end up down here and then go to step three and copy and paste these lines of code from bin bash down to the java xm1 now that's it with your browser and that's it oh and if i were you i'd rename your craft bucket 1.2.5 to just craft bucket dot jar okay now what you're gonna do is open text edit like so and then go to format make plain text so it should disappear the top bar you just want to paste that code in and save now i personally would call it something like launch server dot command um you can have the first letters or whatever you want anything but it has to be dot command so you just want to save that that's saved to my desktop and it's got to be in the same file uh in the same folder as craftbucket.jar sorry i'm a bit ocd with this i like to clean up my stuff which i'll do now there we go right anyway um so look, if you double click this it says the file launch server dot command could not be executed because you do not have appropriate access privileges now if you can access terminal what you want to do is click on terminal yours won't look exactly like this because mine i've changed mine a bit but you want to type in ch mod space a plus x space and then drag this file from server into it then just hit enter and that's done now if you double click this oh sorry that was my thing in the background ah that wasn't a fully downloaded one so i'll just move that to trash and reopen my downloads tab right i know this top one works okay so you just wanna as i said before you know just keep it dragged in okay right if we just delete all that back and then do that it should now launch and say all this stuff yeah sorry that was a dodgy craft bucket thing um and it should say like warning and that but don't worry because that's what it do because it says because it says these folders don't exist but it'll create them don't worry about this one that says dw because i have a Adobe dreamweaver and that's a different story but um if you've port forwarded don't put your ip into the server dot properties leave your server ip blank and that'll be fine this is just your server properties where you can change your message of the day whether you want to generate structures game mode mac players i'll let you figure out the files for yourself um plugins are pretty self-explanatory but other than that 
that's everything you need to do on this side now let's head over to minecraft and i will show you what's happening all right so just letting minecraft boot like a pro <laughs> all right just gonna log in Logging in like a pro. Oh yeah, if you didn't see my um, how to install the portal gun mod, and you want to install the portal gun mod, please look at it. Uh, I think some people will find it quite informative, and it's worked for everyone so far. Okay, uh, I'm just going to delete my server from here. If you go to add server, just call it something like my server, or whatever you need to do. But, because you are the host of the server, you can type in local host. And as you can see, that works. But if you are port forwarded like me as well, you could also type in your port forward address. So, like, if you don't know your port forward address, you can go to ipchicken. Um, yeah, you can go to ipchicken and you can look it up and it will work the same way as I'm about to show you. So, as you can see, mine is 79.67.239.150. So, you can just edit the server. So, it's 79. Like, it's 79.67.239.150. Like so. And then, that will work in the same way. But, it doesn't work on your end, usually. It works on your friend's end. So that's why I use local host. So as you can see, just to show you that the server is in fact working, just let it say logging in. Then just give it a few seconds. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you don't know about this, it shows all your activity in the terminal. So it says ZZ long slash XX, which is my name, my IP, um, my port. So, um, logged in with entity, blah, 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 blah. But this is the seed I've spawned in. It's a pretty bad seed. But I think this proves my point. As you can see, all the chat, all work, stuff like that. Uh, but other than that, I think that's it for this tutorial, guys. So please, uh, if you like it, please like. Uh, tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your wife, tell your kids. Uh, no, I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah, if you'd like to comment, rate, subscribe, it'd help me a lot. I don't have anything else to say, so this is Jack from ZSS Minecrafters signing out, and I will see you later.